So today we will discuss about, you know, the web server, okay, different requests and response. What as a, you know, uh, you and me as a SOC engineers has to learn because this is a, a very important uh, topic in our SOC related aspects. Okay, so <clears throat> any request that goes to a web server, first of all, what are different types of uh, requests we have to know? We have already seen get request, right? right? Okay, that is I want uh, to just receive a web page, like um, I want to Google web page, I want Amazon web page, okay? Whether it is anything in that particular web page, some page if you are asking you what you will do, you will just use get, get as a request. Okay, and there is something called as post. Post means what is that? Uh, what does that mean? Okay, post means you are entering the username and passwords. You are entering the username and passwords. Okay, or you are carrying some form. Okay, you are carrying some form information. Okay, example I'll give you. Uh, just let me know do you are you able to see this uh, panel as well the zoom panel as well which is at the bottom of the screen no right no 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 okay okay no i just uh, oh, the, the 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 control panel zoom is not going away so whether it is getting recorded as well that's what i want so post okay there is something called called as you know post is you entering some username and password say for example um i you 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 have come to e learn infosec website okay and immediately some pop up or some chart or something like that it comes right but here also some information is there like where you enter okay something like this okay all this information you have given that <coughs> your address your subject okay all this information you have given okay okay now you will try to submit it okay at the rate gmail.com okay say for example when you inspect it okay this also network okay uh clear okay try to submit okay something valid Username, right? Okay, copy this. Control C. Enter it over here. Enter it over here. Enter it over here. I think it is correct. Okay. Just clear if you have anything. Now let us see what is the thing we will get it over here. Submit. Oh. Enter a valid email ID. This is valid email ID. Okay. 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 What it is asking for? Okay. It is trying to. Okay. Rago. What else it Oh. Yes. Something okay. okay. Now let me clear the stuff over here. Okay, and try to submit. Okay. If I see this, okay. <clears throat> this form I have submitted. Correct, right? I have submitted some form. The request header. So this is the which method is this? This is the post method. Have you seen that? Okay. Means I am posting some data to the server. Got it, right? I'm posting some data to the server. If I'm just accessing, okay, I'm clearing. And if I'm just accessing something, it is just e-learn infosec website I'm trying to reach, right? So it is just get, okay? Go here, request, request header. It is just to get. I am I am I am trying to get that web page. I am asking, please provide me the Sealer Infosec web page, something like that. Okay. So, 
so we have so many things like this okay let us see how many request http requests are there and what are important for us okay okay i don't want to learn everything okay if i have anything any web page to get i will get this okay along with headers like uh, i accept this kind of thing i i know this kind of encoding i know this kind of languages like what are accept language accept encoding all those information with head, including the header fields when you send you will use get but if you want to send only the first line okay that whatever instead of get that url and bottom whatever the headers are there right after the get whatever the headers are there right like uh, uh, let me show here okay without any of these without any of these headers i don't want to tell anything i just want a web page i don't tell what are my capabilities all these things i don't want to tell instead of get at what i'll use i will use head h e a d head and which url you want e learning for say car what thing you want with http forward slash 3 that city you will send okay to get that web page it is mainly used for some testing and all these things okay which is not that much useful for us as well okay which is not useful for us but if you from the security point of view you can check if there are any head messages are there okay in your organization any requests are coming with head message okay whether it is internally or externally just keep an eye on them that who are these guys and what they are trying to do is that any ip okay from how long that ip is there in your organization okay from which location it is coming it is from us or it is from china or north korea okay why like normal users doesn't use this header method means some tool only they are using to get this web page yeah he is not making any harm but he what are his plans does he visited our website any time earlier okay all such kind of debugging things we have to do okay that is how we are going to check using the logs we will see it later when when we start with splunk right that time like request headers how we can see responses how we can see we can see it later but now you have to see get means normal web page generates that okay head means like some some you know like some tools you can use to just get send only the url and get the web page content okay post is to send username passwords or to send some information to the server that uh, this information you keep like that you are sending it to the server okay so that is called as post that is called as post okay and put okay <clears throat> like you are like you know uh, uh, you have some resources okay like you you have you want to upload some file like in using the google drive okay so that time what it will do is it is not some kind of you know content or anything it is some kind of file or some information okay so that time you are going to like some some activity where you are you know you are you you are you uh, uh, you are you are taking that information you are updating it to your system okay that time you are going to use this kind of put okay and delete means you are deleting some files or anything you can use this command getting triggered from here okay say for example you have um you know like uh, you want to put you want to have uh, in your website to update some images okay like you know um when you log in you have a profile picture okay so that time you'll use put okay you are you are putting some information okay you want to put your you know the uh, profile picture now as your facebook or something that time it uses put okay uh, you want to delete your profile picture that time it uses delete because these are all deleting and all through web you are giving the actions 
to delete some resource within your uh, you know web page content or there in the website so it is only the web based uh, language only you have to talk okay so that language is this like what are the requests you are sending these are all requests only please do this like that you are asking the web server please get me this web page okay head i want url this web page of this url and no headers bottom to that i mean like after that okay post <clears throat> just posting like some information please see uh, this is my information uh, about me okay put like i am uploading some image to my profile delete i am deleting my profile okay and remaining things and all it is not required for you guys just ignore them but just remember these are only few important things in your organization if you see head okay put delete dangerous commands these are all dangerous methods keep an eye on these things all the time just write some query that no need any alert or anything every day just come and visit them that's it okay if it is a critical server you might require to use these to monitor these to put and delete because your developers has to make sure that put and delete are not allowed like that they might have kept something internally in programming or something somewhere okay but if you are sending some put means attacker only is trying to put some data okay attacker only trying to delete some data for uploading and all they might be using some different approach for pictures and all that is we don't require as of now to discuss or it is not our context only but if they are trying to do something malicious like head put delete kind of things okay which are not allowed by your developers but attack, i mean but some user is sending this kind of messages then it looks to be that guy is a suspicious guy and you have to start monitoring that guy how check his ip check his what kind of you know activities he is doing in your organization which and all servers he has actually reached out okay earlier and uh, currently what is his current status whether he tried to do anything okay he did he got any successful responses back from the server all those things you have to monitor okay by looking at the web server logs so this is are the these are all the request methods okay for any request methods for any request methods okay server will respond with any of some response codes okay what are those response codes now let us discuss <clears throat> put post head okay these are the request um put delete okay these are the important things which you have to remove remember these are all okay let us change it to red okay because these are all dangerous correct right those are all dangerous okay now these are all what request request methods which the url has url can send it is nothing but developers have written the code when this form gets enter the information click okay means it will go as a post only okay when you enter some url and click enter it will go as get only okay so now next thing is take this the response codes it will be little stretched okay i like this i'll keep it for any of the request for any of the request definitely server has to respond respond if it is not responding means it can be a security feature where uh, it has identified that as a malicious activity and uh, it has dropped that uh, whatever the request and doesn't doesn't want to communicate any more with that you know the other end user okay so in the only those chances uh, uh, there won't be any response but normally it will be like for any get request or any post request head put delete you have a combinations i mean like any of these response codes has to be turned out okay first one okay first one successful response okay this is the 
successful response okay let us see what are all those successful responses okay first one okay 200 okay if the web page is like present over there whatever you requested if the web page is present it will return the web page along with this was http forward slash 2.0 200 okay i am happy to serve you this page and below to that okay below to that what it will say okay uh, i have used this uh, content encoding is this one okay and content length is this one okay and uh, this is the uh, cookie value which i am giving okay all this information for this uh, url whatever i am responding this is the web page at the bottom which is content along with that it will send if it is web page is present then it will respond like this what if the web page is not present what if if the web page is not present if the web page is not present okay you will get unsuccessful response unsuccessful response full response okay or or client error okay i will tell you unsuccessful response or client error now i'll make this thing deleted because why i'll tell you okay if the web page is present okay okay that is different now instead of okay instead of okay example which i have shown you guys okay um where it is we will go to this thing okay now here what i'll do is uh, let me clear this one simple way e learn infosec.com forward slash admin okay HT TPS colon slash okay now admin dot html this page is there with me is this page is there with me earlier we have seen this was was this page anywhere you have seen no we don't have this page at all now still i am trying to access okay now i am requesting a page see i am trying to get a page this particular page okay where it went here it is see once again i have to do this again okay let me clear this okay once again i'll request okay yeah so i am trying to access a web page okay uh, what i have received 404 page not found okay this is not there i have this particular thing ELR till year learn infosec i have but admin.html i'm asking a page for this my server has the response pointed out this is what i requested hey from e-learn infosec website from this host please provide me admin.html page okay with all my other header fields i have said i i know this 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 and all for that my server see what it has responded hey boss you asked http page right okay which is version 3 http version 3 page you asked right that page is no it, it's not found with me that web page is not there with me okay that is client has done some error means error from the client means me as a user that this page is not there but i asked it okay so that's with along with some you know some dummy page it will give right about that information it will be there okay like in the response that dummy page will be there okay not found something like that okay you can have that raw data also you can view this page is came along with that response 404 along with that headers and all that body contains this this thing okay so this is what the response which i have got for that request got it right i have asked for getting for that page and the status status means the response response is called as status code what is the response i've got is status code but whereas see this if i say Hey boss, I want e-learn infosec. 
Who was? Yeah, you whatever the page you have asked. Okay. Thank you for your request that you asked for the home page of eLearn InfoSec with all that user agent information, accept, all those things. Information is there, right? For that, okay. I am happy to serve you that 200, okay. Okay. And all that information, okay. I'm sending the HTML page to you, okay. All that remaining, some server related information, all these things are there, which is not required for us. Okay. And this is the body which contains in the raw format. See, this is the body in the raw format, in the HTML format. But the same HTML inside also you can view as a preview. In this tool provides that preview, how it looks and all. Okay. So that is the thing. Okay. So now you should have got a proper. Uh, you know, idea on if client does error, okay, you get 404 error message. 404 not found. That web page is not found. Okay. If it is successful, 200, okay, forget about it. Nothing to worry. Client can do some more error. Okay. Now, I will tell you one thing. You have entered the username correctly. You entered password correctly. Okay. You are the employee of that organization only. Okay, but you try to access some website which you should not be allowed, which you should not be allowed to access. That particular part you try to access. Yes, you are the correct username, correct password, everything is perfect, but you don't have privileges to visit that. Example, in your office, okay, some specific area, okay, you shouldn't be allowed to access. You are the employee of that organization. You went and swiped, getting into the office perfect. Everything, it works. But some server room, okay, you have the access card, but you went and you try to swipe. It doesn't allow, to, allow you to enter. That means that you are forbidden to enter into that room. You are forbidden to enter into that room. Okay, so 403 forbidden whether i am correct or not let us see okay okay take it okay 200 okay okay yeah yeah okay 203 Two forbidden Okay. These things are all not required. I'll let you know what it is. Okay. Then what it is here? 400 is the bad request. 400 bad request. One by one, we will see. 400 bad request. Response. Client only doing all these errors. He should not be allowed to go there. He tried. So that's why 403. <clears throat> bad request is, okay. You are clearly told that your website supports only HTML, but you have sent something like, you know, like, you know, only XML from your browser. Okay. That it says that, hey, boss, it is a bad request. Okay. Let us see by any chance we can, uh, I think we can do it, but I'll try, but I don't guarantee that. Okay. Uh, by any chance we can edit and send it not here i guess yeah in other tool i can but not here yeah 100 percent okay let it be there is something called as burp suit where you can edit the request and you can send it there you can generate this but i don't keep any tools now as of now because it's it's not required for me now okay for you guys because already i have created all those things and uh, kept it the same you can refer the same video you will get it which i have which is there in my sock batch playlist three uh, cross-site scripting video okay so um four not four hundred bad request means like some of the header fields okay uh what you have done is when you are sending itself okay uh, the attacker might have actually or the user somewhere testing side or anything when he is doing this thing 
like if he has kept it as capital A instead of small a. Capital A instead of small a. That means, okay, bad request. Means you are asked whatever you are asking, host name is correct, the web page is present, but you are having very bad, okay, header field format. Okay, so it is a very bad request. So I don't allow you to come and get processed in me because you looks to be suspicious for me. So you like you have something bad uh, request the format. Okay, so I am not allowing you. It was taken care by the application itself. No security tools or nothing is required. If instead of capital A, small a is there means that web page, it's a web server itself will take care. Nothing to do from your side. Okay, okay. It is like for Nginx or Apache or, you know, the uh, IAS will only will take care of that such kind of things when they are processing those requests. Okay, this is also one client side error. These are the important client side errors. Okay, okay. Now I would like to show you there is some other things. Successful only 200 you remember, nothing else is required. Okay, because learn what you want first get them like you know you you become a little more confident in them then you go for other parts of it like if any other successful response or anything whether they are useful or not later you can see but all these informations i've kept it over there for your reference all the time anytime go each and every successful responses everything i have explained okay then uh, <clears throat> now where it is let us go to google.com http colon google.com okay this is important for us now i am not putting http as this you have to remember okay let me clear this okay let me clear this http colon Oh, oh, okay. Now, I have sent a request. Hey, boss, I want to reach google.com. Which one? Just google.com I want. Okay. If you see this request, okay. Give me a second. Control C. Okay. Not bad. Okay. If you see this properly, one thing you should remember i asked google.com okay with all the uh, like user agent accept accept language and coding connection all these things information i have given but what is the response i've got see hey boss we moved permanently we moved permanently 301 is the code and it will be called in normal human language as mood permanently. 301 means mood permanently. Okay. To where HTTP Google.com has moved permanently. Okay. Where it has moved. Okay. That is one minute. One second. One second. Okay. Give me a second here. Give me a second here, here. Mm -hmm. Which one is this? This is also 200, okay, okay. It tells that, okay, let me just show you. Where is S, S, S? Location anywhere is there, here? location just below http where where just below uh, in the response address no? just below http location is there right okay 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 got it no i want something okay um here it will be coming as s it should be okay here it should be S, 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 it should be coming. 
okay we have moved to this location that's what it said right okay instead of like you know uh, it should be coming it as uh, where this has actually come okay give me a second i would like to once again properly do this particular part inspection okay uh, Okay, so, sorry, uh, now it should be audible, I think. Okay, so by default, if you see this, guys, am I audible? Yes, Raghav, you're audible okay. now. Okay, if you see this, I asked for uh, just www.elearninfosec.com. I have requested for that web page, correct, right? Okay, I did not mention HTTPS or anything. What did I do? I just kept, you know, without HTTPS, I asked it, I want this web page. Is that web page is there or not? Yes, that domain name is there. So it went to that domain name. And after reaching that domain name, okay, then that particular server, what it has told me is, boss, we have moved permanently. What it is? You have come with only HTTP, right? Okay. What we have done is we moved permanently to where HTTPS. So automatically after this response, when it received by our browser, when this browser receives the response, right? Immediately see what happens. Immediately, automatically it understands and sends a new request. Okay. I'll show you that again. Okay. See this? This is the request, right? Correct, right? This is the 301 move permanently. And the browser is received that this particular web page, I have to new location. I have to. This will be automatically kept in your browser tab without your intervention. And immediately that sends a new request. See, this is the new thing it has kept. 
that means https means earlier whatever the web page it asked okay without https means it has requested okay the other side okay let me just take uh, okay one more paint i'll take that's better okay what it has done is from your client when the request went to the server okay it is connected to some port the server you you have clearly mentioned here okay in the transport layer in the transport layer you have mentioned that okay here the source port sorry the source port is some random port some 25000 or something like that destination port when you say http it is port 80 when you say http without s it is http okay now the request it will go here and reaches port 80 here port 80 and immediately hey boss we have moved permanently we have moved permanently that is https okay hmm? ww dot elearn infosec.com we have moved permanently to this web to this link to this link https we moved the time this response will come back to this client and client automatically what it does you know instead of the next request sending it to you know uh, to this guy uh, sorry yeah instead of sending this thing okay what it will send okay it will send port to some 25000 something whatever it is there destination port it will keep it as 443 destination port where https works okay that means it didn't said which port number it said uh, we moved to https we are not working on http so this one will keep that request the destination port as port https now the request will be sent and the request will be received the other end on that port that is this particular port that is port 443 that means it is working on https this is how the ports work that is port 443 where this web page is present here the web page is there in this this web page that is e-learn infosec web page dot com web page is there and that will be sent back again through port 443 back to where to the user and it will be displayed on to the screen like this like this it will be displayed okay so 301 is moved permanently that means in future whenever you come after 10 years also you come okay we are not going to serve this particular web page whatever e learn infosec which you are asking for on port 80 we are not serving means like without yes when you send request the destination port it automatically keeps it as port 80 because this is a web request and the web request without yes means port 80 it will go okay and it is received the other side the destination port at port 80 and told that okay we moved permanently to https which location https location okay that is what it has clearly mentioned over there for us that is here okay location location this is here okay and this location not only here sometimes 302 okay see this okay that that 
that kind of thing is called as what first of all i'll let you know that is called as redirection that is called as redirect status redirect redirect status okay what is that 301 mood permanently example https okay if you send any request then https and one more location earlier your company is some xx uh, x company and now it has become like e learn infosec okay your old customers they will be coming correct right <clears throat> so that time in your server you will keep it as something like boss okay we are moved permanently now this website is not going to be served okay so moved permanently to e learn infosec now company x is now moved permanently the new location is e learn infosec moved part browser automatically updates automatically updates that url automatically without your intervention and you will re be redirected to that correct right that's why redirect related status are these you, you are sending you are not doing anything you are sending the request all these things automatically server will only respond you need not to do anything if it is correct you will get successful if it is something wrong it will get an error if it is something has to be redirected the redirect will happen automatically response you'll get your browser can understand that it checks which location i have to redirect if it is https means i will just the same website but i will move from port 443 uh, 80 to 443 as destination port and update it and i'll send that request okay got it right hmm? so this is the one and there is something called as 302 302 three, uh, one minute yeah 300 multiple choice okay this is very rare okay like internally what happens is like uh, if there is any issue with the server or anything like uh, i have three options which server you want to go like that it will do so those things are not required okay so all these things are not so you just remember that mm, then there is something called as uh, these are all client errors okay all those things are not required whichever i've told that do you remember there is something called as server error okay server error okay this server error means remember one thing it's not your issue it's not your issue okay it is the server itself not responding server itself not responding these are very very okay let me change control z okay control z these are very dangerous things. Hey, come on. These are very dangerous things, server errors. Means your business is running on this only, right? If that only goes, what you will do? Correct, right? So we will say server error. Okay. What we will say? Okay, simply simply remember that. Okay, any server non-responsive, like server is down, we will say correct, right? You went for some government office. Sorry, sir, server is down. We are we cannot do anything. Means your side network connection is good. Their side also network is good. But the server itself is having some problem. It can be internally server issue or internally that particular network might be down internally okay and internally there might be some kind of you know server might be having some like uh, uh, some upgrade might be there or sometimes uh, um, wantedly someone might have might have uh, powered off or by mistake someone might have turned off or due to some performance issue server might have turned off or has reached uh, some kind of you know the bottlenecks okay some are the issues okay or by mistake some url might have changed of that server okay due to some error happened that server is now not reachable 
it is not the client side error because first it will go to the server the request from the client it will go to the server and everything you have come to know that okay i know that google.com where it is there or elearn infosec where it is there i will reach that and after reaching that i know where that web server is there i'll go there but server web page is not there server itself it is not that server is not ready to serve you that time you will get server error there are different server errors are there okay now the first one is okay service not available 503 okay that is like when that when when the server is down or maintenance or overload this issue you will be lot of issues you'll be seeing okay and there is uh you know the bad gateway also some issues will be there but internal servers um you know like is also one error but mainly what you have to do is you will ignore what is there 03 02 01 whatever it is there you ignore five xx we will say if there is anything which is related to five okay five xx we say whether 501 502 503 505 500 anything okay if i observe anything five related issues server related issues i will get i should i have i should have written some correlation rules for that and i should immediately jump in and start start responding to those uh, uh requests i mean like those errors okay as a sock engineer because server team might not be knowing it okay no one will be monitoring it being a sock team if we would have written some queries that from a server or some something in your organization okay if you identify any of the http request for any of the http requests if the response is 5xx 5xx means five star something you can keep it okay we will i'll show you star means not five star chocolate okay five asterisks okay so any that asterisk says that anything it's a wild card if it is 501 502 503 anything if you identify it okay consider it is a server error consider it is a server error and respond back to me saying that okay that to the to the client that okay boss we are not in a position to serve you because our server has got a problem forget about whatever it is we will take care of internally this is what our problem that is what especially you might have seen big billion day okay or you know thanksgiving day or you know the tatkal railway reservation tickets all these are issues all these things are issues which you have to remember okay so guys these are the important aspects or the codes that you have to remember okay uh, we accept Raghav, uh do we uh, get yeah go ahead go ahead go ahead uh, during ddos attacks do we get 5xx errors absolutely because it is okay. only few users are going to get served okay the other users are not getting this uh, this requests that are like not getting processed are served by the server itself right so definitely it is a busy server is busy okay so it is like 5xx error only yeah uh, so these are all like you know successful uh failure client failure client error okay and it is redirection and this is the server errors okay two three four five are the important and there is something six x means like six errors that is like you know complete entire like you know the country internet itself is down or you know that entire continent internet itself down those are all like global issues okay that is not issue with you or anything so you have to least bother about them and you hardly find such kind of errors now because every country has got alternative routes either left it will go or right it will go correct right <laughs> if they want you can they can being in india like i can take the uh you know the the east approach where i have different routers i can reach to us 
or west approach i can have different routers are there where i can reach through like like you know the the the, the other way okay through africa and i can reach to us of that particular servers okay now you hardly find 6x errors but 404 403 400 is the very bad uh, request from the client side but server errors it's like high 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 value you know the the catch for your sock team that you have to immediately respond to it and make sure like head put delete should not be there in any of your web servers okay because this should not be allowed in commercial production environments okay so make sure you have to identify them these requests are not there in your organization we will write some queries later point of our course that how we have to uh, catch these kind of requests and response so i this as a whole okay this much is enough for you to know with respect to the web related stuff okay um, that's enough next we will uh, get into the uh, you know uh, what i can say the the security related aspects okay uh, from next class onwards got it right and i would uh, recommend you to go through the all the questions also give me a second